Hi guys, this week, the very first person who can identify where I am standing by emailing Janelle at the church, not first person, I should say, the first junior hire, the first current seventh and eighth grader that can email Janelle and identify the location of where I am standing at the church will receive one of the Amazon prizes that you'll have a chance to pick from. We'll get in touch and let you know what your choices are, but you be the first person. You'll find out from us on Tuesday who that person was. And I'm not telling you the email, you have to know it from your church stuff already. All right. I'm giving you some hints by expanding and walking out a little bit further. This week is week two. We're talking about being connected as a church family and growing. And in order to do that, we're going to be looking at Colossians chapter 2 verses 6 and 7 it says this so then just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord continue to live your lives in him and I love the phrasing it says uh, live your lives in him rooted and firm established in the faith just like you were in the beginning and overflowing with thankfulness I'm down here in case you didn't know where it is because the root patterns from the trees down here are so cool and spectacular. Check out these. These are pretty cool roots, which are part of these pretty cool trees. And because these roots are sunken so deep, these trees can grow to be so uh, luscious and beautiful and provide such wonderful shade to the tables in this area. And that's just what believers are to be. We know Christ Jesus. We're believers in Jesus that he died for us on the cross. So sink your roots into that deeply. Established and firm. Thick suckers so that nothing's going to move you from your faith. And so that you can grow. Trees with healthy root systems are sunken into nutrients and they are healthy and they grow. And that's what we want the junior high students who are believers to do spiritually. Be healthy and grow. Interesting that it finishes with, with, it finishes with an overflowing with thankfulness. If thankfulness is a part of your heart and your life, it's one of the signs that you are healthy and that you can grow. But if you don't have thankfulness, you're going to be stuck and there's going to be some rottenness and lack of health and lack of growth. So don't be like that. Pause right now and think of things that you can be helpful for or are thankful for. In fact, why don't you be done with this video and go tell people in your life things that you're thankful about for them right here and right now. Start with God and then other people around you. Tell them what you're thankful for about them.